Oh, what is this? Real Life RTX remote? Maybe it's broken? Hey, this is me, Easy Rock. RTX on versus RTX off. How big is the difference? Will RTX make my gameplay much more enjoyable? Can we even see the difference? So many questions, and I know that there is so many videos on YouTube already, but I want to check it myself if it's all true. Sub and like would be awesome. Let's go! First game is Battlefield 5. To be honest, I don't see a very big difference. I checked way too many times in this game RTX actually off or on. So this test could be as accurate as possible. Let's find some differences. Reflection on RTX on is a little bit better. Hmm, okay, this one is a good one. Hmm. I think they're almost identical. Maybe we can spot RTX while we're moving. Mm, no, it is hard to see a difference. I think I found it. Look at reflection on a gun. And again, there is no difference, but the right one is a little bit more dirty. They are identical, there is no difference. Okay, let's now check some scenes with water. Hopefully we can spot a difference in the reflection. Well, I don't really understand. Water is a little bit more reflective on RTX on, just a little bit. I think there is no real benefit to have RTX on in Battlefield 5. To be honest, I'm very, very disappointed. And now let's check how different RTX in Cyberpunk. RTX on or off, no DLSS. The only difference is reflection on the ceiling. And again reflection on the ceiling, and that's it. I think her top is a little bit less reflective on RTX on. On RTX on it's less red, that's it. The only benefit of RTX on is 15 FPS instead of 55. Reflection card is different, I can't say it's better, and there is pink spot on the ground. Hmm. Finally, I have found the difference! And it looks weird as hell, oh my god. To be honest, I prefer reflection on RTX off. RTX on is like a mirror all the time, it's horrible. Technology is cool, but all I can say it's not there yet. I think it should be a little bit more muddy, like on RTX off kinda. But under the water there is no difference, of course. A little bit more brighter on RTX on. So this is why people buying all those expensive cars like 3080, 3090. 
I am right now on RTX 3060 Ti. Just brilliant card, it's almost like 2080 Super. Metro Exodus is next. And again no DLSS, all I want to see is pure real difference. That's why there is no DLSS. Ok, and again I can't see any difference. Maybe you in the comments can tell me? Shadow is a little bit different on RTX ON, but it is just different. Well, I cannot say that I'm very impressed. I would never buy a new graphics card only for this. Seriously, this is so strange. But what about all this hype, I wonder? By the way, I already finished this game and all I can say it is just amazing. Story, level design, monsters, everything is just top notch. So if you want to play an incredible, incredible game, Metro Exodus must be on your list, must be. And again RTX on, a little bit brighter, that's it. It is not very impressive again. But what about control, the game, the benchmark for RTX? In my opinion this scene always been very creepy. I like how I can see exit sign on the floor. By the way, there is no DLSS again. Finally, I can see difference, finally! But I cannot say that I like RTX more. Ok, I must admit, this looks great. It is interesting how she is reflecting from any glass. It feels like this floor was polished like never before. So many reflections, oh my god, my FPS. It does look a little bit better with RTX on in this scene. But why everything is so reflective with RTX on? This is weird. Ok, now let's check this creepy guy. Will there be a difference? By looking at floor before, I can say that his polishing skills are incredible. In my opinion, there is no real difference. And let's quickly check Call of Duty Warzone. A little bit more blurry, but in RTX I can't see a difference. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Пока!